because people do it all the time and guess what they don't die you know <laughs> yeah there's been a few people who died maybe those are people who weren't doing what they were supposed to do probably you know i mean i can't say that for facts but anyway that's, that's what you need right you just need the uh usually the first takes the best so i was gonna stick with that <laughs> but black camper out here with you at uh gillen park here in kansas city we're gonna be walking around the city i'll probably go get a bike and head up to loose park but while i do that i'm gonna give you five things that you can do to get started in backpacking or i guess five things you kind of need to get started in backpacking um yeah five items the top five items i guess this is uh for a beginner so and all of you guys who are have been inspired to go hiking because of the black camper hey thanks <laughs> okay so number one the very first thing you need a backpack so yeah you can't take your everyday normal backpack uh your school backpack you can if you want to if that's all you got hey do what you got to do i mean my first time backpacking was with uh an adidas backpack and yes yeah, my everyday backpack i wasn't in school obviously but it was a school backpack you know i had the little computer compartment and the second compartment and it was big and it fit some stuff but the way that uh backpacks work it did not it does not balance the uh, weight out so whatever you got in there you're gonna feel it and you're gonna feel it hard so that's the first thing you need get you you don't need a osprey or a hyper light or um i mean ospreys are good I, that's what i got but it wasn't my first my first backpack was a, a, a my first real backpacking backpack was a 60 dollars i think it was 60 bucks from amazon um i'll show it or something but yeah you just need something that's good and not not necessarily cheap but uh but that's gonna work for you because if you love it i mean if you like it you're gonna end up upgrading anyway so i kind of wasted that 60 bucks i wish i had a just um you know did a lot more research and, and picked something better because i wasted 60 bucks but at the same time i have two bags now so one Jaden can use or Aaliyah can use when we go backpacking if I take them and stuff like that or I can let my brother use <laughs> when we go it's, and this is a good backpack for overnight so that's the first thing that's number one number one is the uh, backpack now I'm gonna try to climb up these stairs and get over to the Nelson Atkins Museum and then we'll share number two all right all right so just made it over to the Atkins Museum the outside a beautiful beautiful art museum right here in kansas city so and if you didn't know it's free so yeah we could go in i think there's registration right now we are friends with the, of the museum but and there's a little construction oh uh, so much walking <laughs> so yeah but um a little bit of construction going on right now for the uh pool over here but so. Right. But anyway, so yeah, um, what was that? Number two. So what do you need? Number two. Sorry about the construction noise. Um, yeah. If that wasn't there, man, it would be beautiful. Right there. But I guess I'll show you the house. Um, you need. What do you need? Oh, shelter. You need a shelter. Now, whether that is a tarp, tent, tarp, and a hammock or a tent like I got. Um, actually, I have both. I have a tarp and a tent. My first tarp, I mean, my first tarp and tent, I think it was 40 bucks, bought it on Amazon. So that was cool. Hey, how's it going? Um, bought that on Amazon. It was, a, it was a combo, like I said, for 40 bucks. So between my backpack and my, my tent, I mean, my, uh, yeah, my, my, my hammock and my tarp, uh we're at 100 bucks my first two items so eh, yes you can you know you're not really gonna get it for less than that i mean i, I picked the cheapest tarp combo i had and mine had a, a bug net too and it works great i mean it was as long as you're like uh careful with it and don't guide it out too hard because i ripped it the fourth i think that's the third time i used it i kind of ripped it up so yeah, that's the second thing you need, a tarp or a tent or some kind of shelter, some kind of shelter system, man. 
Um, even if it's just a tarp for you to just land it out and then you, you know, you sleep on the ground. So you'll need that. But all right, I'm gonna pop on a bike here. I got an electric bike pass, so I'm gonna get on this and see you at the next spot. Hey, listen, kids, don't ride bikes without helmets. <laughs> uh, or something to protect your head like my headphones these are pretty thick so these are gonna be my heads i mean these are my head protectors for today sorry don't be like me i shouldn't even told you guys that i should have just rolled i might have to get it So, all right, it's a little bit of traffic noise, but I'll try to get this in quick. Uh, you have to pull out my nose. <laughs> sleep system. So uh, make sure you have a sleep system, whether that's a sleeping bag or a quilt. Um, make sure that it is rated comfortably. So you don't want a zero degree. You don't want a zero degree sleeping bag in the summer, and you don't want a forty degree sleeping bag in the uh, winter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So make sure that that's one thing I had to had to had to really focus in on was my sleeping system. So um, make sure it's rated appropriately for the weather that you're going to encounter, whether it's you're in the mountains or in the, in the spring, whenever. So you want to you want to make sure you have a nice sleep system. Uh, me, I have a 20 degree quilt from Jackson Better Quilts. Thank you, Don. And um, I also have a 40 degree cotton thing that I bought like when we started camping last year so yeah that's that uh, oh there's down and there's cotton in there it's alternative but that's a whole different subject man we, we, we do your own research on your uh, sleeping bags so um which these brings me into number four i think number four uh clothing i know i just mentioned my cotton sleeping bag uh cotton fill Make sure you don't have cotton clothes. <laughs> you know, like you see, I'm out in my sweats right now. This is all cotton. Um, you don't want to take that hiking or camping. I mean, it's just you're just gonna be uncomfortable, um, especially in hot weather. Uh, cotton is horrendous. Um, yeah, cold weather cotton is horrendous. It might keep you warm, but as soon as it gets wet, it's over with. And it holds water. It doesn't dry quick. There's there's tons of research, tons of reasons why you want something like uh, a synthetic or a wool or well, you want synthetics, wools, and poly, uh, polyester, basically. You know, that's that's the type of clothing you you're gonna want um, because you're gonna be more comfortable. It's lighter. Blah 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 blah. Trust me on this. I mean, you have to do your research, but trust me, you don't want synthetics and wools. <laughs> you know. What I'm but all right, so I'm gonna go get some, pop back on the bike. Might ride around here a little bit more. So for the last one, um, and, and no, by no means is this an all-inclusive list. Um, this is just something to get you started, right? 
so it get you get you thinking about what it is you actually really really need to get going and and everything i've said so far you take it and then you go do some research but be like okay i know i need this but here you go the last one you need cook set right so you, you don't want a big stove you just want something small um mine i bought off amazon it was like five bucks and it works for uh, I got probably 300 miles on that damn stove. Um, but yeah, and a nice, a nice titanium small pot or stainless steel. The Stanley uh, cup that I have that I bought originally, that that's perfect, man. It's like 750 milliliters, and um, yeah, it's not that it's not that heavy. I, I don't, I wouldn't even get into ounces yet, man, and and wait until you plan a long ass section hike or a fucking uh, a through hike man of 2000 plus miles so but if you're not doing that don't 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 jump into weight don't don't worry about the uh what did they call it the ultra lighters man for real i mean not not really they, they cool but it's just it's way too expensive man and if you're not into hiking hiking like that if you're not hiking every single day you don't need ultra light gear man it's just it's uncouth man really cool it's not cool it, it makes people think that it's impossible to get into the uh hiking world but anyway yeah that's what you need you need a small little cook set uh the one i had on the at was a titanium pot it, it was too small for what i, I think you need as a free hiker um it's five the 550 milliliter pot is just a little too small guys i would not go with that But yeah, uh, I'm gonna get out, get out of here again. So I might have a bonus for you guys later. Uh, I didn't get to this part. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it here. So peace out. Yeah, so this is hella dangerous what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Riding in uh, with no helmet, um, on a bike, electric bike at that, no helmet, and recording at the same time. So don't try this at home, kids. I'm a professional. I've been doing this my whole life. Anyway. So the bonus, the last thing you need to get started is the attitude. I mean, the um, yeah, you just you gotta have the attitude to get started. That's it. You gotta make up your mind and be determined that hey, I want to try this. And I'm, I'm not scared to go and try something new because people do it all the time. And guess what? They don't die. You know? <laughs> yeah, there's been a few people who died, maybe, on the Appalachian Trail or probably a few falls on some other trails, but. Those are people who weren't doing what they were supposed to do, probably. You know, I mean, I can't say that for facts, but anyway, that's that's what you need, right? You just need the uh, the will or the um, the the power, to, uh, the, the the mindset to just go. That's what you need. To just go, just go do it. Don't be afraid. Stop being scared of new stuff. Go try something new. Be different. Dare to be different. Goddamn it. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's it, man. I hope you guys like this. Um, this is what I got for you right now.